Hi everybody. Um, so I wanted to take some time and just, sorry, I'm just adjusting myself. I wanted to just visit on um, our group and just share with you some of the visions that I have for this group. A while back I had shared about just having themes for each month and I think that is just going well, having kind of our focus be or having kind of a united focus, for instance, this month is um, joy, and then next month will be accountability August, and I think it's really, really helpful. Uh, there are some things, I, I think with the summer um, being here, it has caused for us to um, maybe, myself included, maybe not check in as frequently, um, and so I just wanted to establish something where this group is solely for uh, support and of course does provide accountability, but that it's not a burden. And so some of the ways that I think that is going to help, um, I'm gonna go through that with you. The first thing that I wanted to share is on the actual My Challenge app, um, I was finding, I kept a pin post, but I was finding that my daily post Perhaps you weren't seeing it because it wasn't pinned. And so I wanted to share with you what I will be doing with that so that you could make sure that you see the daily pin post. But if you need to refer to anything on the app as far as like, okay, which month are we focused? What are we focusing on this month? What is you know, details? Like if you wanted to do measurements, how do you look for those? That type of stuff. So um, here is the app. I know it's really hard to see like exactly what what is on there, and I guess that doesn't help at all. But um, on the top right here, on your app, it says info and files, okay? So on there, um, once you, gosh, it's so hard for you to see anything on here. But once you click on, let me go back here, this is the, the top screen down here, we'll kind of show who's posted for that day, but right here, there's a little sign there and it says info and files. That's what you click on, info and files. Once you click on there, I know you can't see it, but right below, kind of just a tad above halfway mark, it says files. So in the file section, click on files. If you click on files, there are two different um, links here. And I know it's hard to see from the phone because of the way the lighting works, but I'm gonna just share screen so that you could see. Um, so here's my screen, and here's what I wanna share with you. This is what you'll be able to see. So if you click on the first one, it says, Welcome to Measure Faith Support and Accountability Group. And you click View. Um, it will provide all of the different links. Pretty much it's the same exact thing that you had on the pin post, but because I need the pin post for our daily post, I put this in the file section, and I just wanted to show you where it was at. So you have Get to Know Measure Faith. If you have not taken the time to introduce yourself, if you could do that, and then that way I could um, update. The next week I will be going through kind of let's introduce ourselves and those types of things, but... Here's who I have for those who have introduced themselves. I have that saved. It's all in Google Doc form. Um, any recipes that you guys say, uh, share, I try my best to click on over here and save them. Um, and then sweet treats. And then I do have food sensitive shopping lists, our, our schedule. And then if you needed like a link for doing weights and measurements, yeah, this one shows um, measure of age schedule. So it kind of talks about like what the theme is for the month. And then it also talks about what we want to have for themes for like the day meal recipe Mondays and that type of thing where I think that's where I'm going to be adjusting things is what we'll be doing for the day because I was doing it like every other week, but I still found that um, it just became a little bit redundant and I am not for redundancy. <laughs> so let me go ahead and share with you uh, so I don't have this video go too long. I want to provide monthly Zoom chats, and I'm going to be providing that on the third Friday of each month, and it will be at 9.15 p.m. Uh, for us here in California, I understand um, that's kind of bedtime, and please don't feel like you have to make a call. I 
would appreciate it if you took the time to watch the recording. And that is just solely so that you could, it's just an opportunity for us to get to know each other. Um, so that that's optional, but it will definitely optimize um, the relationships here within the group. So just wanted to share that with you. Um, when you are posting your um, blogging, your workout or your Shakeology, um, those are going to be individual posts. But from this point forward, um, so that we don't have so many things to scroll through each day and comment on, um, what I am asking of you is that on the daily post, so here's the app again, instead of doing a post for like your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, what I will be asking of you is that you, on the pin post for the day, gosh, I'm trying to, so for instance, this is the pin post, I know you can't really see it, but go check yes. your pin post, make sure that you've read that, and then on the comments, that's where you'll share your pictures and comments, so it does give you an option to do um, your picture, if you wanted to take a picture. Obviously, if it's something unique, like we've had in the past where, you know, one of our gal, our children were doing a workout and it's a video and you wanted to share about it, of course, upload that video, we want to see about it. But I don't think um, it's helping any of us if we have, even if this is for myself, that I have found if I put like, oh, my breakfast, oh, my lunch. Not that I don't want you to share that. I'm just saying share it in the pin post so that when the next person comes in, they are not overwhelmed with having to respond to 30 different posts. Because you've got to figure if each one of us is posting three things and there's 30 of us, that's 90 posts to respond to. Now I understand not all of us are doing that, but you, can, you, you can catch my drift. So if you have any questions on that, please let me know. Um, uh, you could also, um, if you, let's just say you log your workout, but then you go on a walk and you want to share that, you can log that under your workout just in a comment and share a photo if you wanted to share a photo. Same thing if you log your Shakeology and you had other things, you could also do it there. So you have two options. You can uh, log your activity in the pin post, in comments of the pin post, or you can log your further activity in comments of your workout or your Shakeology. So uh, you choose. I just want um, to help for those of us who get a little overwhelmed with having too many comment, too many comments to make on posts, I'm just trying to help eliminate that. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I want to remind you that you have uh, an advantage um, of having me as your coach. I am available to help keep track of your measurements, your photos, and your weight. Um, it's not something that I encourage you doing more than once a month, but I do feel that it is helpful to have it on file because if you don't know where you started, um, you don't know where you are, you know? I mean, I know in the sense of like how things fit and that type of thing, and that's important. And But what's far more, more important is how you feel and that type of thing. But that's why we focus on having three goals, um, even sharing the goals with me. We're able to track that and kind of see what has worked and what hasn't worked. So I just want to encourage you to, uh, if you haven't sent me, um, you know, your stats, Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. If you haven't sent me your stats, please take the time to do so. Um, and I'll you know, know that that is um, uh, the information is exclusive to me. It's not something that I share. It's confidential. Um, okay, so I talked about like the get to know you, the recipes, and all of those things in the file section. Um, I want to do uh, what's called like a monthly, uh, every week I want, or I'm sorry, every month I want to have a challenge week. So um, let's just say uh, we do that on the second week, yeah, second week of each month, okay? And it could be, um, you know, a salad challenge. So, um, you know, post your salad for the day and that kind of will encourage for us each to have a salad each day. Um, it can be one day where we do a funky Friday where we all dress up funky and record a video of each other or of ourselves doing it or something like that. I'm not sure of the, you know, the specifics on it, but I want to get creative and it's just, um, it could be where, 
we choose to partner with somebody and um, you know you guys kind of work together and, and come up with something that way um, I just think that it would be really fun for us to try something out like that so I want to do what's called a monthly challenge week and so each month we will at the end of the week uh, we'll have winners and so there will be prizes that I will be providing um, and then the other thing is um, for the challenge group, um, I found for when I was gone on my trip, you guys posting was absolutely amazing. And I loved every single one of you that gave a post, I loved them. And so I wanna have where we are rotating through once a week that one of you does the post. Um, so it would kind of be just like choose a calendar or here's the calendar, choose your, choose your day. And then of course I will be sending you a reminder uh, ahead of time so that you don't forget. <laughs> um, so I'll be providing that. Um, the other thing is I know that we have, there's 33 challengers is what it shows on my end, but I know that we're not all logging and um, keeping track uh, here or, you know, that we're not utilizing this, um, this app and so I will be uh, reaching out to each one individually and making sure that this is still something that works for you um, I understand that we all go through different seasons and and we mean to check in regularly but um, to continue with the relationship that we are all trying to grow as a team I want to make sure that everybody who is on here um, wants to be on here so I will be doing what's called the cleaning house of this particular app and making sure that everybody in this group wants to be here and um, so, yeah. Um, and yeah, as far as our theme months, I don't see why we wouldn't change that for the, for the remainder of the year. And that's everything that I have to share. Um, I wanted to share a little bit of takeaway from my uh, trip. It was a business trip, obviously, and there were motivational speakers. And um, I was able to, I was very blessed with the ladies that I got to a room with because they all love the Lord and we were able to um, spend time and just really align our goals um, with what we feel God wants for us. And of course that was individually and then, um, you know, as a group. So I just want to share a little bit of takeaway. One of the gals, she talked about, um, you know, if you're stuck in a rut and how to get out of it. Now, this could apply for business, but also just in our personal journey. Um, and one of the things that she said was, look up, don't stare at your feet. And so for me, that's just a great reminder that I shouldn't even be staring at my circumstances anyways. I should be always keeping my eyes on Jesus. And then, you know, so much of what we feel is, or what's causing us to feel overwhelmed or defeated, um, you know, it will be minimized. Um, not to say that if we're going through things that they're not valid, but uh, a lot of what we are consumed with, uh, it could be a little unnecessary. Um, so um, uh, celebrate and share small wins. So with that, um, I wanna make sure that we are focusing on non-scale victories. Um, we had one um, today about a jacket fitting that didn't fit, and now she's able to button it. That was my cousin. and. It was just extremely exciting, and it was such a great reminder that we do need to focus on those small wins because that's, it's, it's, it may be a small win to you and I, but it's a huge win to her. Um, and I, I, I can totally relate um, with experience, experiencing that. We want to celebrate that. Um, and then not a, I want to express this, but not in being a selfish way, but just to understand, like, you need to hydrate and take care of yourself first. And that's not because... I'm, ex I'm sharing that you need to do this in a selfish way, but more of you cannot give what you don't have. Um, so once you have filled your cup, then from your cup, you can overflow onto others. So just keep that in mind um, that most, much of the reason that we want to choose better health or food choices and choose to work out is because we want to be able to serve others. The other part of that is personal, de personal development. Um, for those of us who are believers and read our Bible every day, if we are not filling our cup with um, what God's word says, then we don't have that to give to others. Um, the same thing is if we are not developing personally, we cannot develop others. So just keep that in mind. And I want for you to choose a book that you would like to read. That was the other thing is um, having a book club, uh, agreeing on a book for us to read for the month and um, having feedback on that with our Zoom chat as well. 
So I will be sharing a book that I think we should go through and you guys can give feedback and let me know if you would like to be a part of that. Uh, it will be for personal development. Um, and know that you are, your journey that you are on has plateaus. And so there's going to be times where we are just flatlining. Those are, that, that's there on purpose. Um, accept it and just keep moving forward. Um, and then this was really huge for me. Uh, there will be rocks along the way. Um, it's not a wall, use it for your benefit. So instead of having those rocks that you are going to stumble over, um, kick them out of your path. You know, keep an eye out um, and be mindful of um, how you talk to yourself. Like I know for me, uh, you know, especially when I'm failing or not doing so well, I, I'm so quick to condemn myself. And so, you know, what you think of yourself is the way that others are going to think of you as well. So just keep that in mind, especially for those of us who have little ones that are running around and, you know, I mean, if I drop something, I'm like, oh, God, you're such a, oh, you know, and I just get frustrated with myself. But you have to believe that if that's how you feel about yourself, to imagine what you're allowing for others to feel about you. Um, so not, again, not in this um, selfish way, but just to, to be mindful that you're fearfully and wonderfully made and that's, you're created in God's image. And if we're going to be like him, then we need to, um, we need to be uplifting and we need to speak wholesome. Um, so, you know, don't let any wholesome, unwholesome talk come out of your mouth. So that's kind of where that would be applied. So I hope this encourages and motivates you. And there's just so much that I shared with you. Um, in comments below, if you could help me um, just say, yes, I'm in for a book club as far as personally developing. Yes, I'm in for a weekly, or I'm sorry, a monthly Zoom call. Um, and just that you're in agreement with the changes. And um, I would love to hear um, feedback on how this group specifically has helped you and um, share and non-scale victories. You have that. And then last but not least, I wanted to share with you that my team that I coach with, we are doing a, um, a coach sneak peek. This doesn't mean that you are saying, yes, you want to be a coach, but just more to hear a little bit of more information about what coaching entails. And yours truly, I will be uh, featured in that sweet peek and I will be sharing um, a little bit on, on my journey. So I would love for you to be able to join. It is a personal invite that, invite that I will be giving, uh, sending your way. So just let me know if you're interested in that. And that starts tomorrow. And of course you can check in at a time that works best for you. And the heart behind it is not for you to spend hours upon hours on your phone, checking everything out, but just for, to get you information about 10, 15 minutes a day. So let me know if you're interested in that. So number one, let me know if you're in on doing a personal development book together. Number two, let me know if you're in on monthly um, calls. It doesn't have to be live, but at least that you're committed to watching the recording. Um, they're about going to be about 30 minutes long at the most. Um, number three, um, I already forgot. Oh, uh, share a non-scale victory that you have experienced just in the last week. You can even do the last month. And then uh, four, let me know if you would like to uh, join on the coach sneak peek. Again, it doesn't mean that you're wanting to be a coach, although I think you should be. <laughs> um, it just means that you are um, wanting to just get a little bit more information about what I do. So thank you so much, ladies, and I love you dearly.